Yeah, we are live. Good. And you can say hello already. So how many people do we have? I'm not able to see how many people are. Neither am I able to see. I've just opened a YouTube. Let me check. Yeah, there are 11 people already. Okay. Let's see if we can get, get to somewhere around 20. All right, right. People will come. We have 14. Yeah, hello to everybody who's joining in. We're just waiting for a good crowd to assemble and then we will get started. So till that time, uh, hello Deepayan, hello Ganesh. Thank you for joining. I hope- uh, Yeah, who are joined, they can drop in yeah, hello. Or hello, or hello. Hi. hello, hi to everybody who's joined so far. You see all the 14 people who have joined, uh, more than happy to- 21 uh, people. Oh, that's great, 21 people. So. Uh, Good afternoon, good evening, good morning to everybody who's joining in from whichever part of the world. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, and thank you, Vishnu, firstly, for all the effort that you've taken to uh, promote this quiz uh, in whichever places uh, you could, online, offline. Uh, and uh, tack on for the last few days uh, or for the last few months, I would say, has been uh, trying to uh, to a lot of quizzes, a lot of young talent uh, has been uncovered, I would say. Uh, they all have been testing their um, skills in uh, hosting quizzes uh, across uh, many languages. I think that's one of the most unique things that you did, uh, Vishnu. Uh, you've had the quizzes in uh, five or six, or how many languages did you do it? Uh, it was uh, almost 11, lang 11 quizzes, but some eight languages. So eight. three languages repeated. Great. Uh, that's yeah, yeah. And I think uh, your uh, dedication to quizzing definitely stands out and so are all the folks who are joining in. Uh, I think uh, we will have a very good time. Uh, we are also playing this particular quiz uh, while it's open and uh, uh, everybody can join in, everybody can join in the fun. Uh, let's not forget that we are also doing a small fundraiser for the daily wage earners uh, who've lost their livelihood uh, during the COVID-19. So. We are uh, running a small fundraiser on Give India. Uh, it's one of the largest uh, platforms, online platforms for donations. And uh, if you can see the screen, there is a QR code. There is a, a, a link which is there, the bit.ly uh, link. You can possibly also see that particular link in the YouTube description. And uh, as and when you feel that, uh, you like the questions or uh, you are enjoying the quiz, uh, just take a moment to go there and uh, uh, do your bit for uh, uh, the daily wage earners. I think that would mean a lot to all of us. And uh, thank you all for joining in such large numbers. We're almost 34 people. Uh, Vishnu, why don't we get started? Yeah, yeah. I'm just starting with it. There's a small music piece.
Well, uh, thank you, uh, Vishnu, and thank you to everyone who's joined. Shashwat, Manya, Stuti, Ketan Naik, Kira, Shaz, Samet. A lot of people who are joining in. You can see 37 people already live. So uh, we're doing this particular quiz. We Vishnu was kind enough to spruce up this entire deck. Uh, he did a really good job. I think uh, he also ran a few teaser questions uh, on social media, on WhatsApp, on Twitter. Uh, I, I ran them on Twitter. And then uh, there were a few quizzes, uh, sweet questions. He also posted on Facebook. So we'll quickly go through uh, some of those questions. If some of you have not seen them, uh, we'll run them up for you and then uh, go across. So this is the first one that we came. So this is how we'll work it out today. So this is how we'll uh, run it uh, today. We will be posting the questions. Uh, you can use your comment link to post the answers. We'll uh, be more than happy to take out your names uh, as and when we see them appearing on our screens. Uh, no points per se. You're not playing for points. You're playing for a cause. Uh, you see the, the QR code. You can see the, the link uh, in the description. Uh, we'll play the quiz. And as and when you feel that, uh, yes, uh, I need to donate something, uh, please go ahead and do that. Uh, otherwise, thank you, everyone. Sarvesh. Uh, uh, you've given the answer as well. So yes, uh, which Indian brand's maiden campaign took its inspiration from the daily prayer in the Bible? Uh, the daily prayer in the Bible is give us today our daily bread. And what Amul did, yes, uh, Shaz, uh, what Amul did, or Amul butter, I would say, uh, they just put, give us this day our daily bread with Amul butter. Amul utterly, butterly delicious. Yes, uh, Srinath, there might be a, 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 few, a few seconds lag between when we are putting up this question on screen. Uh, so we'll just accommodate for that. But as and when uh, we, we're playing this, uh, we're not playing for points. We are not playing for money. We are playing for a cause. Uh, the questions will come up on your screens. Uh, what you could do is you can uh, uh, just give out the answers in the comment section. And uh, we'll just go and uh, read it out that way. So that's the second one. The second of the teasers has come. Uh, which family? is the subject of this book, The Untold Story of a Jewelry or a Jewelry Empire. So which family is this? And uh, this was the question that uh, we've asked uh, the king of the jewelers, the jewelers to the kings. That's how we would know them. Which family is uh, this that we are talking about? Uh, anybody who wants to give out an answer? Uh, no, uh, Ramakrishna Ranganathan, it is not Tiffany. But Shah Samed has uh, blurted out the answer. He's one who's given up the answer. Let's see if it, has, it is right, if there is anybody else trying. Shah Samed has an answer. Ram Krishnan, Ram, Ranganathan has an answer. Ra, Ram Krishnan Ranganathan says, uh, Tiffany, Manoj, hi. Hi, Manoj. Uh, good to see you on this platform. Ketan Naik also has an answer. And uh, I think, uh, yes, this is the Katia. The Katia is family. Uh, that book is about the Cartier. So uh, this was one of the teaser questions that we had. There is, let's go to the next uh, teaser question, Vishnu. Yes, Ishita, this is Cartier. So uh, I think uh, this was uh, somewhat of an Easter egg. The, if you look at the, the visual closely, you'll get the answer. The answer is not hidden somewhere, but it's very much there. Uh, which is this brand, which is called the Aristocrat of Toilet Soap. So the Aristocrat of Toilet Soap. Which uh, brand is this, which brought out this advertisement during the influenza pandemic in the early 20th century in the US? Uh, yes, Shaz, you are on fire. Latika, yes, Latika, you've got the answer as well. Yardley is the answer here. So Yardley's is the brand that came out with this uh, advertisement during the influenza pandemic in the early 20th century. Not Colgate Sarvish, if this is Yardley. So Yardley is the answer. A uh, lot of you got it right. Shah's got it right. Uh, Latika, Ketan, Ganesh, all of you uh, got it right. This is the last of the teaser questions that were that was asked on the social media. Uh, bit, uh, you could see the two companies or the two brands. TikTok is one of them. And then there is a flag. Uh, these companies had several compliance issue with this country. The country's flag is visible at the bottom. You need to tell us uh, what was this compliance issue. 
no ujwal this is not the flag of iran this is not the flag of iran this is something else yes uh, arvind rajiv sarthi uh, owned by wipro that was the last question yardlies but uh, this is a different country not iran uh, if you can identify the two things uh, or the two icons that we have on top and uh, the first one the left one is something which you have extensively used to create some of the shortcut links so that is one of the cues uh, clues that is existing for so the link that we have used to shorten the url for the donation link is basically the logo that you see on the top left not recognized by china nigeria yemen turkmenistan lot of countries are coming out uh, none correct so far it is neither uh, uh, nigeria or turkmenistan kalilur yes that is bit.ly but uh, answer the question why were these companies uh, had did, why did they have compliance issues with this country yes vipul vipul tyagi got the country right this is libya so if you know libya libya the the three letter domain or the tld is .ly and bit.ly tiktok uh, acquired or music.ly musically uh, as we call it that was something which was acquired by uh, tiktok or by dance as we call it and these well this was the tld of libya and the link contents were deemed to be incompetent to muslim law and was taken down by the libyan government so that is uh, what the answer is uh, a lot of you got libya as the uh, country and uh, all the answers are coming out khalilur anand ganesh ishita yes uh, objecting to dot ly so starting with the main quiz has around 24 questions not around has 24 questions and uh, thank you to sovik sovik basu as you know is one of the uh, most well known uh, quizzers quiz masters uh, as well he hosts a lot of quizzes uh, in schools and colleges around the country he has been an exceptional quizzer as well he uh, was a fi national finalist in the campus crucible also won the bt acumen and uh, he has helped us with some of the questions uh, the among the research is mine as well so this is what uh, uh, main quiz starts now the qr code is there the links are there as and when uh, you feel like uh, donating please go and donate to the give india you know, fund that we have established for the covid 19 the people or the daily wage earners who have been affected by covid 19 so without further ado let us go to the first question so this is question number 1 apprentices from this profession in denmark had staged the longest strike in history from 1938 to 1961 in the arab world they considered to maintain a manual of their art called the kisbat nama a 2009 movie in india ran into controversy when certain members of this profession found it derogatory which profession are we talking about so the apprentices of this profession in denmark staged the longest strike in history from 38 to 61 and then there is a manual of the art that these people uh, carry out uh, in the arab world and that annual is called the kisbat nama so which profession are we talking about this is question number 1 uh, not seen anybody's coming out with the answer yet harshit joshi has an answer ganesh nagarajan has an answer shrinath has an answer and uh, we are seeing where is the correct answer coming from yes pratik pande pratik pande uh, is also come up with the answer harshit was the first one to go with barber ishita then we have cool chakra yes everybody coming up with the answer now barber or barbers is the answer that we were looking for yes the movie was billu barber which then got released as billu so that is the first answer 
for the first question that we had manoj prasad anand venkat raman yes uh, all of you uh, coming up with the answer now uh, so let's go to question number 2 vishnu so an eponymous company established in the 19th century in the us set up its indian operations soon after it was initially marketing the indigenously produced sewing machines under a trademark which was also taken from the founder's middle name a well known editor of that day called this product one of the few useful things ever invented which company and what was the founder's full name so the founder had an eponymous company eponymous means named after uh, the, the person so the brand is named after this this founder and then he had another brand which took its name from his middle name a well known editor of that day and well known indian editor of that day called this product one of the few useful things ever invented which company and what was the founder's full name so there are two parts tell us the full name of the founder and which company are we talking about a lot of people have got the name of the company correct and uh, ujwal kiran you have to give the full name so you've given the first name and the last name there is a middle name and there is a brand with that middle name as well harshit no it is not usha uh, aniket swami also going with usha not usha uh, ramkrishnan ranganathan has the full answer i think he has given isaac merit singer isaac merit singer yes singer machine singer sewing machine and the full name is isaac merit singer yes mahatma gandhi is that uh, particular editor that we are talking about you are right so uh, we are you are right so a lot of people now coming up with the connection shrinath jagdeep gai arvind rajiv sarthi yes a lot of you are getting that right uh, right now so let's go on to the next question question number 3 when this establishment was founded the founder decided to name it after a young girl whose siblings had difficulty in pronouncing their name pronouncing her name so young girl whose siblings had difficulty in pronouncing her name they had given this girl a nickname and this establishment was founded using that young girl's nickname So at a later stage in life, the founder regretted not naming the establishment after himself because it put a lot of pressure on the person whom it was named after. Who is the girl and the founder we are talking about? So this is not necessarily uh, an Indian question or a question on Indian business or Indian establishment. Think global. Think global. and uh, let's see where it comes a lot of people went with nirma as uh, the first guess that uh, nirma is not what we are looking for so ramkrishnan ranganathan arvind rajiv sarthi shrinath hr uh, nirma is not the correct answer there is an answer that has come from i think balaji dandapani balaji we are looking at two things who is the girl and who is the founder so two things we are talking about who is the girl and who is the founder so when you answer answer both of them together in your comment so answer both the things together in your comment so whenever we are giving you two things to be answered just ensure that you are answering both of them together in a comment it makes it easy for us to check and uh, say whether you are right um, people have now moved to mercedes not mercedes not barbie as well uh, balaji dandapani was uh, on the right track but he just has to give the name of the founder which is the easier part so he has given the name of the girl and now he has to go and find out what the name of the founder is not mercedes not nirma not murphy as well we are looking out for a girl who had siblings and siblings had difficulty in pronouncing her full name 
they had given her a nickname and uh, at a later stage in life the founder regretted that it put a lot of pressure on this girl so i think uh, balaji dandapani i don't know where he went uh, he have not seen his answer yet of the full answer let's give out the full answer the answer is wendy's so the establishment being wendy's melinda thomas is uh, the lady or the girl her nickname was wendy's and her father dave thomas he established this uh, wendy's fast food chain named it after his daughter's nickname wendy's and that's the answer that we were looking out for so dipayan thank you uh, lovely question he says uh, jatin sangvi not lakshmi lakshmi is after lakshmi so that's the from the play the french play Laksh uh, that's how lakshmi got its name uh, this is bendies that we were talking about not forbes as well ishita forbes was uh, a gentleman he didn't uh, that was a surname of that person so let's go on thank you ramkrishnan and uh, don't forget uh, the qr code is appearing on each of the questions it's also our uh, i would say the the slide that you see before a question comes up please please uh, go and donate to our cause uh, that we are playing for today uh, here comes question 4 and uh, question 4 it's a little longish question but the answer is as small as you can think of so a los angeles times reported this company smells its own brass concocts its own polyester spins and twists its own thread weaves and color dyes cloth for its tape forges and molds its scoop teeth and so on uh, they even make the boxes to ship their products they manufacture their own machines hidden from the eyes of competitors every tiny detail is handled under their roof when the japanese earthquake hit in 2011 supply chains were shredded but this company kept rolling along which company is this the first answer that we got from 84 zen 84 zen said toyota sayed aslam said toyota sarvesh prabhu toyota ganesh nagarajan levis and then there is a flood of answers which is coming now from m shah from saurav das from shrinath hr from arvind rajiv sarthi all in unison giving out the right answer the answer is indeed ykk so now we have done with four i think vishnu we have uh, our first of the audio uh, questions up right yes yes okay. yes so we have so before vishnu plays this particular jingle all the audio questions that we will hear today are all connected by a theme a very very simple theme a very very simple theme uh, if you can guess the theme just blurt out the theme or you just want to play for identifying the brand play for the brand so all these audio questions and after every five questions hence you will hear one audio piece and all these audio pieces are basically an ad jingle and you have to identify the brand and all these ad jingles are all connected there is a theme there is an interlinked theme which is running behind all these uh, ad jingles so you have to identify that the theme as well so vishnu why don't we play the first one the first brand aaj ki raat koi aane ko उसे आने तो दे फिर कर लेना जी भर के प्यार
so that was the jingle and as soon as the jingle started playing shah samed chandrakala arvind rajiv sarthi all of you started uh, coming out with your answers but then uh, there was shubhrani lacharji and then sarv das and ujwal kiran kul chakra harshit joshi uh, a lot of you coming out with the correct answer sobhagya jena as well yes sobhagya thank you for your contribution thank you for your contribution to the cause uh, much appreciated coca cola is the answer that we were looking for so anybody wants to go for the theme can go for the theme yeah vishnu you want to play the ad completely you can go ahead yeah so that was coca cola manas naik manas also uh, thank you for your contribution uh, much appreciated he helped us promote uh, the quiz in a big way on social media uh, 62 people as i see are watching this live that's really really cool i hope uh, you are also looking at that qr code quite closely trying to um, point your camera uh, on that yeah this is the bigger one so you can just point your companies uh, point your cameras to the qr code or type the link go to the give india page uh, please donate that would mean a lot to us so right on the 27th minute of our quiz uh, let's move on to question number 5 no dibakar banerjee is not the team kalsberg was not the answer so this is question number 5 so a lot of you are starting to start guessing on the theme sarvesh prabhu let's wait for this next uh, audio the- uh, question to come up so this is question number 5 uh, first ever odi captain cashing on his popularity his employer gave out miniature autograph bats to all customers one such customer was sachin tendulkar's sister savita you have to name the captain and the organization so two things please combine both your answers and one comment if you can send it in that would really be helpful so ganesh nagarajan says ajit wadekar and britannia and then let's see a lot of people are talking about the name the captain's name and the organization but not together nobody has come out with the answers together sujit ray sujit ray you are the first one ajit wadekar and state bank of india that is the right answer ajit wadekar and state bank of india is the correct answer a lot of you now coming up with uh, the first one filmistan i'm not sure what you wrote in malayalam i guess that's the um, uh, script that you've used arvin rajiv sarthi manas now yes all of you now coming up with the the right answer that is uh, actually ajit wadekar and state bank of india while our total viewers have just dropped a bit to 56 i think uh our no, in one one so <laughs> just going back and forth i think the five people went to donate that's how i'll read it so five people went to quickly donate and they have come back to now play the next question so let's see what the next question is so next question is question number 6 edward the first of england's frequent military campaigns put a great financial strain on the nation the king was granted a half mark customs duty per sack on the export of wool more money needed to be raised and an unpopular additional duty on wool dubbed the maltolt or the bad tax was levied how is this tax remembered to this day so the question question number 6 is how is this tax that edward the first of england levied remembered so that is the question uh, you don't have to tell me the name of the tax you have to tell me how do we remember this tax today not wooly tax not cess not lady of godiva but the answers are coming in between there are some correct answers coming in between not gst gst is not that old phenomena 
Yes, Filmistan, Chandrakala. I think the first person who gave out Baba Black Sheep was Arvind uh, Rajiv Sarthi. That's how that's how I see it on my screen. Arjeev, Arvind Rajiv Sarthi was the first one to say Baba Black Sheep. Manas Naik, Chandrakala. Yes, all of you. Balaji Dandapani, Kool Chakra. Yes, Arvind Rajiv Sarthi. You were the first one to get it right. So, Ronisha Das. Yes, uh, all of you got it correct. This is the Baba Black Ship nursery rhyme. That's how we remember this text to this day. So let's uh, go to question number eight. So the 15th Avenue Coffee and Tea is a coffee shop which op opened in 2009 on Capitol Hill, served wine and beer posted live music and poetry. Another one called the Roy Street Coffee and Tea opened again in Capitol Hill. Then in 2012, the second floor of Macy's Hill Square in New York City, the Hill Square Cafe opened. All these coffee shops are actually oper operated by Starbucks, and but they do not have any Starbucks branding. They call the stealth Starbucks. You have to tell us for what purpose the Starbucks use these coffee chains. Uh, not Harshit, uh, it's not as seeds to grow coffee. It is uh, something else. Arvind, thank you. Nice diction. Uh, I'm trying to be as clear and as uh, audible to all of you. I hope I am. Uh, Manas Naik uh, is hazarding a guess, a big one as that. Uh, let's see uh, if anybody else uh, gets close. He has given a big answer. Uh, Ishita is still on the previous question, not uh, the movie or TV sets, not for government officials, uh, not for, uh, yes, some of you are now coming up with the correct answer. Manas Naik was the first one. And then we have Srinath, HR, Sarvesh Prabhu, and uh, Balaji Dandapani. Balaji is consistently giving out right answers. All of you are coming up with the right answer. Yes, it is for, uh, let's see, for experimentation and as a lab for future offerings. So that is what the answer is. It's basically for experimenting new things and uh, la a lab for all of their future offerings, which they would roll out to their other uh, Starbucks uh, cafes or other of, of uh, their cafes that they have across the world. So that's basically what uh, these uh, shops are used for, these cafes are used for. So thank you, Ishita. And uh, let's see, we've already gone to the next question. Qu question number eight. So the Atlantic recently came out with a story describing how best-selling Indian product tells the story of its pandemic. A major part of the manufacturing takes a little less than half an hour. There are 135 factories in the country that make uh, this brand. And uh, for a sociologist, this brand is a symbol of consumer citizenship, of an aspirational equality, something which we have all tasted, eaten during this pandemic, one of the best-selling Indian products. So let's see. Where is the answer coming up first from? Aniket Swami. Aniket Swami has given out an answer. And I think uh, there isn't a wrong answer till now that I'm seeing. Everybody has come up with the right answer. Parleji. Yes, Parleji is the answer. Parleji is the answer that we were looking for. Parleji is that best-selling Indian product, which tells the story of its pandemic. Manufacturing takes a little less than half an hour, 135 factories in the nation that makes this brand. And incidentally, the only factory in Mumbai where actually this biscuit is made is not in Ville Parle anymore. It is in the Kidzania uh, play, uh, uh, the Kidzania Park that we have in Mumbai. That's where there is a Parleji factory, which you could see, but not in Ville Parle anymore. So Parleji is the answer that not Maggie, not uh, 
uh, Mari biscuits that we've seen a few answers coming from. It's not Mari or not Maggie. It is Parleji. So Parleji is the answer to that particular question. Well, I just quickly uh, went to the fundraiser page, and but we are still at the 1511. 1511 is where we are stuck. We're stuck at 1511 rupees to the cause. So please, please go ahead and donate to this open hearted fundraiser for the daily wage earners affected due to COVID 19. That's the uh, set of people that we are playing for. Donate. Uh, we're donating through Give India platform. Please uh, try and uh, donate there. We are still at 1511. Thank you, Vivekanand, Raizada, so Bhagya Jina, and then there is someone who donated anonymously as well. So thank you for all your contributions. But uh, we definitely want to see that number going up. Please, uh, please do uh, uh, donate for that. Ishita. Not Nestle. Parleji and Nestle are two different uh, brands altogether. Parle is from the Parle group, Parle, but Nestle is a different one. So Parleji is the answer that we were looking for for that question. Let's go on to the next question. Next question nine. Question number nine. Uh, in 1970s, North Korea was flush with Soviet cash. The steady supply of aid. Uh, convinced several Swedish exporters to invest. Uh, one of the Swedish companies agreed to send over 70 million in heavy machinery and 144 units of something for a public service. But then North Korea's economy began to falter and North Korea never actually paid for all the investment. So the interest and penalties uh, started to grow. It went to almost 322 million. And every six months, this company which send those 144 units, sends an invoice to Pyongyang. The dues are mounting. All you need to know, uh, all you need to tell us is which company is this and what did they send to North Korea? A Swedish company in the 1970s sent 144 units of something and they have not yet received their payment. So which Swedish company are we talking about and what is it that we are talking about here so no they didn't, they didn't send pen drives in the 1970s so not pen drives uh, not IKEA uh, yes Sobagya, thank you request to all please donate for the cause uh, we're playing for a good cause Khalilur Rahman has an answer Deepu Joseph uh, we're talking about a Swedish company uh, Filmistan, uh, not talking about a Danish company either. And uh, Ketan, we are not talking about a Finnish company either. So we are talking about a Swedish company. So not Nokia, not Lego, not Samsung, uh, not Ericsson. We are not Bofors either. So we are talking and we are talking about Volvo. So we are talking about Volvo and we are talking about not trucks, but sedans these were actually used as taxis or cabs in north korea so volvo sedans is the answer that we were talking about so we then now uh, i think we have completed nine questions and a 10 uh, audio piece so this is the second brand that you have to identify from the ad jingle let us hear or let us go back to our fun page and see where did, did something change there. No, nothing has changed, unfortunately, there. Nothing has changed on the Give India page so far, which is a bit sad, but we will quickly roll on to the next audio bit. So, Vishnu, why don't you play the next audio, uh, the audio bit that we have and let, let us identify the brand from this ad jingle. The audio and the the volume can rise. Mm -hmm. 
Vishnu, for some reason, the audio is not playing as loud as we said before. Yeah, it's the sound of audio is very low in this. I don't know why. But uh, what we're playing is basically we're playing the musical piece uh, from the film Hare Rama, Hare Krishna. This is the Dham Maro Dham uh, audio piece that you would be listening to. So, uh, Vishnu, you could possibly try to play it one more time and let's see if it can be louder. Oh, this is the loudest uh, thing I'm able to get this. Just for the sake of the people who are unable to hear the audio, we are playing the Dham Maro Dham track from the movie Hare Rama Hare Krishna. So that is the audio piece that you that we are playing and that you probably are unable to hear. So with that uh, piece of clue, if you want to go ahead with your answers, please go ahead. Not mentors, Chandrakala, not mentors. Uh, we are playing Dham Maro Dham from Hare Rama Hare Krishna. And the clue, and this is your second audio piece and you need to also go ahead and if you want to guess the theme, you can go ahead and guess the theme. So the first one that you heard was Coca-Cola. The second one you're hearing is this brand. And what you have to name is which brand are we talking about? This music piece is from, is actually has been used in an ad. So you have to name the brand whose ad we were playing. Not Mentos, not Bingo, not Pepsi, not Five Star as well. I think uh, let's uh, let's see what the answer is, Vishnu. I think uh, not none of them came up with the right answer. This was actually Heineken. Heineken is the answer that we had. This was the music piece that we were talking about. Uh, somebody has hazarded the guest of the theme already. Sort of Das. Sort of Das has a as a guest for the theme. Khalilur is talking about uh, another guest, which is also interesting. Quite interesting. Uh, not sure whether Pepsi is the answer, though. The answer is Heineken here. So, Kalilur, uh, Coca Cola, and now we have Heineken. So, these are the two answers that have come out so far. Tinder, not Tinder, sort of. This is Heineken. Heineken is the answer that we were looking out for. This, yes, Deepu, Heineken is what we were talking about. This was audio. Question number two, we will quickly go back to our dry questions. Uh, let's go back. Yes, this is a question from the history of India. Uh, J.R.D. Tata once remarked about a minister in the Indian government. He was in many ways a terrible man, an authoritarian, but he was the only one he, who ignored the socialism thing and what he thought was right and did what he thought was right. Is the one who encouraged Telco to manufacture trucks, also instructed Tata Steel to put in another million ton, tons, double the capacity. You have to tell us who is this minister that we are talking about? Who is the minister that we are talking about? Not Nehruji and not Sardar Patel either. Dipayan, uh, keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying for the theme. There is not Muhammad Rafi either, not Sardar Patel. Another minister, uh, 
well, uh, the minister has a certain fuss associated with him as well. And uh, Shubranil Acharji, yes, Shubranil Acharji, you have come out with the correct answer. You have come out with the correct answer. This is indeed TT Krishnamachari, TTK. This is TTK. TTK is the answer. A lot of you otherwise going in for Sardar Patel, Shastri, Biju Patnaik, but the answer here was TTK. Not Shanmukam Chettiar, but TT Krishnamachari. TT Krishnamachari is the answer that we were looking for. So that's where we are. So the donation link, if you see, is uh, you can actually, what you could do is that if you are, if you have another phone, you can just put point your phone to that QR code that you can see, and that would actually take you to the fundraiser page. Yes, this is uh, the QR code. And then you can also see the link. The link is also there in the YouTube description. So the, you can find the donation link in the YouTube description, the video description as well. So you can either go and point your phone to this QR code. You can type that URL, which is there, or you can copy paste the URL from the video description as well. So all these avenues will take you to the fundraiser page. And Tacon is also putting up the link on the comment section. So please, uh, please use those links uh, to go to the donation page. Uh, theme is Wimbledon. Interesting, Deepak Taneja. Uh, Deepak Taneja, uh, very old hand in quizzing. Uh, somebody who also, I believe, hosts uh, a Bollywood quiz on Zoom. Uh, a grand old man, so to say, of uh, Indian quizzing. Uh, Deepak Taneja, thank you, thank you. Thanks a lot for uh, joining today joining us on YouTube and uh, Khalilur as well, uh, a very old timer as far as business quizzing is concerned. Uh, those of you in Hyderabad who have seen him uh, uh, participating in a lot of quizzes there. Uh, and uh, let's go on. 11th question has come up. Mark Twain, as soon as the question came up, there is Dipayan. I'm not sure whether others even got a chance to read the question. Let me read it out for others. The page compositor was an invention developed in the late 19th century. It was designed to replace the human typesetter. The machine was not nearly as precise as it, as it should have and never turned a profit. Which former printer lost a bulk of his fortune, including his wife's inheritance in this venture? That was the question. And Dipayan Sen, after you, you've ensured that nobody else types out the answer. Mark Twain is the correct answer there. Question number 11, Mark Twain is the answer. And Dipayan remains the only one to have answered that even before I started reading the question properly. Question 12, let's go. 1907, outraged at being charged $5 for a quarter mile horse and carriage trip. I think the question is still not up on YouTube. Yes, now it comes. In 1907, outraged at being charged $5 for a quarter mile horse and carriage trip in New York City, Harry and Allen decided to import something which was then immensely popular in France. What was Harry Allen responsible for pioneering in New York City? Let's see who comes up with the answer here. Autos, trams, uh, and a lot of other things. Beetle, I can see. But then there in between, I also see Ujwal Kirandas, Arvind Rajiv Sarthi, Harshit Joshi. Yes, all of you are right. This is the taxi cab. The taxi cab that we talk about. Yes, the yellow taxi cabs. That is what we are looking for. The New York taxi cabs, as was the answer to this particular question. So, New York taxi cabs was the answer. Moving on, I think we have just crossed the halfway mark of our quiz. 50 minutes we've taken to cross halfway mark. I hope you're having a wonderful time. If you could just uh, 
show us your appreciation or any comments that you want to share with respect to the questions asked so far please please uh, do that uh, we'll want to hear from you uh, how is the pace uh, are we going too fast are we going too slow do we need to uh, slow down uh, just give us some shout out on your comment section and that would help us to uh, just uh, let us know how to proceed for the second half of our quiz thank you deepak uh, manoj prasad yes it was a taxi car, cab we've gone on to question number 13 uh, which we're talking about joji uh, he is the president of guest wifi uh, we need to just tell us he has installed a lot of wireless internet access in hotels through guest wifi he also owns a restaurant in new york city called the joan's trattoria he actually resorted to crowdfunding which caused a lot of embarrassment to his family earlier this year how do we know joji joji has a famous i would say relative or somebody in his family is quite famous so people know joji in relation to that celebrity who is there in the family so you have to probably if you know the celebrity you will be able to know who joji is and uh, what is joji's relation to that famous celebrity i think if you look at g a little more in detail pay attention to that you should be able to get who joji is uh, who is joji how is he better known as something somebody and i see a lot of people uh, going with joe gold then gold gym joe gold gold gym joe gold digger and then we have arvind rajiv sarthi who has come out with a question not an answer but a question and ramkrishnan ranganathan who immediately followed arvind's comment has come out with the right answer he is the father of lady gaga lady gaga's father yes george germanotta is lady gaga's father and that is the correct answer arvind rajiv sarthi and ramakrishnan ranganathan together i would say combined to give that answer but points if you we were to so we're not playing for any points here but if points were to be given ramakrishnan ranganathan would have got the points for this question father of lady gaga i think uh, we're done with 13 questions and i i'm yet to see if uh, anybody uh, has given any comment uh, vishnu we could just go back to the previous slide and let's uh, hear from uh, our uh, participants uh, 48 of them we had 62 when then we are down to 48 i think the loyal ones are the people who are interested in quizzing have stayed back well, just numbers are just rising up a bit uh, we i hope we are fine with the the pace at which we are running this quiz uh, we'll quickly go to question number uh, 14 and uh, let's go to question number 14 so this is uh, another one uh, a patent does not exist for this particular thing based on designs of dc simpson and variants of this went into production with the alibert group and the gross felix group it's named because it is injection molded from thermoplastic polypropylene uh, and a lot of other things which is done to that uh, what are we talking about canadian designer dc simpson uh, did this uh, design and then variants went into production alibert group and gross felix group in the 1970s uh, manufactured it what is it that we are talking about it is something which we all use we all use and we probably would have in our houses as well all of us would have have would have this in our house all this is part of your things that you see in your daily life what are we talking about uh great questions but streaming is slow at my place yes sir uh, unfortunately some things are not in our control uh neel kamal types tupperware pearl pet plastic bags but then i suddenly saw the right answer slip by from 
Arvind Rajiv Sarthi. Arvind Rajiv Sarthi somewhere came out with the correct answer. And then a lot of people are talking about pet bottle, Tupperware, plastic chair. But plastic chair, we are just looking out for a very, very specific name for this type of chair. What is this type of chair or this type of plastic chair actually called? It has a name. So when you go back, sit on this chair, you would probably identify this chair not as a plastic chair, but as something else. It is the monoblock chair. Monoblock chair is the right answer. Monoblock chair is what we were looking for. Monoblock. This is the chair. I don't think there is anyone among us who has not seen this chair, does not have a chair like this uh, in their houses. Probably they may not have it right now, but at some point of uh, time, they would have had this kind of a chair. If you've gone to quizzes, you would have sat on some of these chairs, one of these chairs, and had appeared for your prelims or even for your finals. So monoblock chair is the right answer there. So let's go on to the next question. Our, and that is another jingle, another brand, another jingle. I hope, Vishnu, this time the audio plays loud and clear for the audience. And while you listen to that audio piece, I will quickly go to the fundraiser page and see where we stand. Well, there is some positive change and a lot of people, thank you. We've come to 3,663. We've raised 3,663 uh, donations. A lot of you contributing. Saurabh Bhandari, Aniket Swami, Devashish Mukherjee, Ganesh Nagarajan. Thank you, Devashish. Thank you, Ganesh. Uh, thank you for your generous contribution. Uh, more than happy that all of you have taken out the time to come and join this quiz, come and join this cause. Uh, Debashish, um, very, very senior uh, and uh, senior quizzer, I would say, uh, Ganesh as well, and Deepak Taneja. These are all old pros, Kalilur as well. Um, from uh, And I got a few other messages asking for the link, so I hope hopefully they'll do it. Yeah, the link is there in your YouTube video description. That's the, the best place to go to to copy paste the link the youtube description for this video has the link so please use that and uh, tacon is also uh, putting it across in the comment section so the comment section if you just uh, swipe through you will see the link you will see the link in the description of the video you will see the link uh, in the slides that are coming up and then there is a qr code which is there in every slide so if you are on GPay, or if you are, uh, sorry, not on GPay, if you are on any of those pages and you have a scanner, you can actually point your Paytms or your GPay or your Amazon Pay or your phone pay to this QR code and it will take you to the link and you can actually just go there and donate. So just look at that QR code, point your Google Pay, your Amazon Pay, your phone pay, your Paytm. Uh, onto that QR code and you should be able to do the donation. Uh, that is something which is as easy as that. So our penultimate audio, let us play. Yeah, so that is the 
audio piece that you heard and then i think vishnu you have it uh, the answer as well yes a lot of people i think uh, came out with apple iphone apple iphone 10 as the answer and uh, i think uh, the first one to get to apple iphone who was that shubhrani lacharji shubhrani lacharji was the first one to get to apple iphone uh, he said apple ad but the correct the, the perfectly correct answer is iphone 10 and that was again arvind rajiv sarthi arvind rajiv sarthi he is a founder of exquisite if anyone don't know oh he conducts quizzes from chennai the founder okay. of exquisite yeah. great to have uh, some uh, budding i'm uh, not say budding uh, but uh, some very well known uh, people within quizzing circles uh, uh, and thank you all for coming forward and joining uh, we trying to make we try to make this quiz uh, uh, where i would say the, the general thing that i use everywhere is simple and easy but uh, a little bit about things we have seen in daily life you have used in your daily life things you have heard we not uh, try to set questions about things which uh, are very very esoteric in nature things which you probably have never heard you only go to a quiz and hear about that brand and nowhere after that would you have ever seen or heard about it uh, none of the questions here are about such brands or such things things which are across us around us uh, probably you have used it uh, those are the kind of things that we have tried to uh, probably keep as uh, or use them as our themes for this question and that's basically uh, these are uh, uh, what we have used it for arjun rajiv sarthi external contributors of kbc regional rounds is that your guess for the connect no 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 uh, they do that uh, exquisite guys, Arvind Rajiv Sarathi, content, content for KBC regional rounds. Okay, but uh, Arvind Rajiv Sarathi, if you have a hotline uh, to get to KBC, uh, I would be more than happy to uh, call you up and probably talk to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, then uh, let's uh, see, Harshit Joshi, a lot of people, and I think uh, people have by now uh, got the theme as well. But I think the first one, in my opinion, who got to the theme was probably Shubhrani Lacharji, if I'm not wrong. Uh, guys might come and correct me. But he was the first one to actually guess the theme. These are all music pieces from R.D. Burman. So all these jingles are actually inspired from R.D. Burman's music. First one that you heard, Coca-Cola, Aaj Ki Raat. Not sure if there is any cinema buff here, if they can come back and tell me this, the film from where Aaj Ki Raat. Arvind Rajiv Patu, you must have got it. Yes, uh, or Shubranil, one of you, R.D. Burman's music. But Aaj Ki Raat, the first one that you heard was, anyone can come up with the name of the film? Uh, the name of the film for Aaj Ki Raat. The Coca-Cola ad that we played. Uh, nobody probably trying to guess. So that is from the film, uh, from the film Anamika. The first one was from the film Anamika. Then we had Dam Maro Dam from Hare Rama Hare Krishna. This one is from The Burning Train. All these are music uh, pieces which have been borrowed from, or not borrowed, I would say inspired is the right word from music pieces from R.D. Burman. This is from Burman. I think, uh, Vishnu, you have uh, the slide which has the actual... Uh, right, I'm playing both of them. Yeah, let's play both of them. Yes, all of that, uh, you got it in the second jingle as well. So, all of you are really really uh, I'm thankful for all uh, to all of you for enjoying this quiz uh, a lot of appreciation coming thank you shubranil thank you arvind uh, this was uh, from burning train meri nazar nazar hai kuch pe that was the I apple iphone i think the, the person who used this particular music first uh, did not acknowledge and then there was another tweet when he faced backlash he got a lot of uh, 
backlash for you know, ignoring and then he actually acknowledged the very picked up this music yes ashish agarwal it was anamika yes oh we quickly gone to the last set of questions this is the last round and this is question number 15 we have five more questions from here uh, doo creative is an advertising agency based in hyderabad for last 6 years they have been designing the look for an immensely popular item that is not commercially available and can only be acquired if it is sent to you from the company that is responsible for its creation a television channel has been telecasting its production extensively over the last few years which brand is this and what is the popular item two things which brand is this and what is the popular item doo creative from hyderabad are the advertising agency behind this popular item not commercially available can only be acquired if it is sent to you from the company that is responsible for its creation not naptol not zuzus uh, television channel has been telecasting uh, you know this television channel not for the content on this particular channel but for their other channels so this television channel has a lot of or this television company has a lot of other channels you would know them for something else but they have this kind of a channel as well and they had another channel which closed down a general entertainment channel which closed down many many years ago so if you know the channel and you know the kind of programs that come on that channel you would be able to guess this particular item or the brand that we are talking about and then we see zuzus and vodafone and ram krishnan ranganathan has said kingfisher and the calendar and let's see how many of you agree with what ram krishnan ranganathan has said or would you have a different answer t hub says anand venkat raman and then pogo says arvind rajiv sarthi but ram krishnan ranganathan says kingfisher and the calendar and vishnu let us see what the answer is the annual kingfisher calendar that is the right answer ram krishnan ranganathan got it first this is the annual kingfisher calendar do creative in hyderabad is the advertising agency behind it say aniket swami rr plus 1 i think he seconded what ram krishnan ranganathan had to say table mate uh, not really uh, we will go on to the next question question number 16 uh, named billy it was dreamed up in 1978 by an ikea designer and again another sketched it on the back of a napkin story 60 odd million in the world uh, have been manufactured nearly one for every 100 people bloomberg uses them to compare purchasing power across the world uh, they cost the most in egypt and in slovakia you get them for less than 40 dollars one of the most noticeable items on news television what items is billy from ikea what is billy from the world of ikea yes chandra kala gedapu she has come up with the answer vijaya pottumuttu has come out with an answer and is there anybody else coming out with the answer ashish singh has come out with an answer manoj prasad has come out and now a lot of you are coming out with the right answer this is the book case or the book shelf book case or book shelf something which you can see uh, all experts uh, having them as the background bookcase or bookshelf billy is the common one from the world of ikea there is a bloomberg bookshelf index uh, which is used to compare the purchasing power across the world and 
Billy is one of the bookshelves from the world of IKEA. That was the last question. If you haven't yet contributed or are thinking of contributing, please use the QR code, use the link which is there in the video description. And uh, this is an open hearted fundraiser. We are having fun and we are also donating to a cause for the daily wage earners uh, who've lost their livelihood due to COVID 19. Please help us raise funds for them. And uh, while we are having fun and while we are uh, also Trying to, we have just got to 4,663, and that is thanks to Saurabh Bhandari, Saurabh Das, Aniket Swami. Thanks a lot for your contribution, it means a lot to us. Uh, we down to 17 question. Anubhav Sabot says, Visible as the backdrop when Mrs. Gandhi speaks. Okay. Uh, not only Mrs. Gandhi, but a lot of other people also, you could see them as the backdrop. Uh, question number 17. The 2019 Ig Nobel Prize in Economics was awarded for this concern. Not the Nobel, but the Ig Nobel. Uh, although it was mocked then, today it has become a real cause of concern as a possible or probable way of the coronavirus being transmitted. Uh, who has not come out with a clear proof regarding whether it spreads through this but it is still a risk. What are we describing? And what was the topic that won the Ig Nobel? The 2019 Ig Nobel Prize for Economics. And Chandrakala Gedapu has given an answer. And so has Ishita Das. And let's see what somebody else comes out with. Anybody else coming out with an answer? Khalilur Rahman has come out with an answer and all of them are saying not the cancer fighting pizza, Arvind Rajiv Sarthi. You just deviated from the common guess which everybody else is putting. This is currency notes. Which are the dirtiest currency notes? Which currency notes spread the most bacteria was the, the subject which won the Ig Nobel Prize in Economics. And the common question was, can COVID-19 be spread through banknotes and coins? And Vishnu has put a pun there. We are not asking you to donate currency notes. We are asking you to donate electronically. Please donate electronically using the QR code or the donation link. Not religious gatherings, not fake news transmission, or the pizzas against uh, whatever. This is currency notes which currency notes spread the most bacteria. So some of the last questions coming up, a visual. There is a big questionnaire, questionnaire which is here. And if I were to just try to read it, it says questions stir up a storm. Victims of test say only walking encyclopedia could answer such a questionnaire. Official list is a secret. But man, who remembers 141 questions, tells what they were and calls them silly. So a lot of questions you could see here. Uh, the question is, this is an old, old questionnaire, basically used for job interviews. Who is the interviewer who asks all these questions? And the questions are like, uh, what large river in the United States uh, flows from south to north, where are the straits of uh, Messania and so on and so forth, which mountain is the highest in the world, a lot of such things. Who use such a questionnaire to interview job seekers? Not Hitler or Major Dhyanchand. I don't know why, why Major Dhyanchand would interview people uh, probably for the hockey team. No. <laughs> this is uh, not uh, Nazis. Arvind Rajiv Sarthi, yes, you are right. And so Manas Nayak uh, goes with Edison at end, uh, not CIA, Saurabh Bhandari. Uh, this is Saurabh Bhandari, again, a pretty uh, regular quizzer from Delhi. If you've been looking at the Gurgaon rounds of the Crucible or the Delhi rounds of some quizzes, uh, you would have seen uh, Saurabh Bhandari, uh, prolific quizzer from the north. Uh, 
thank you for joining Saurav and Ramkrishnan, Ranganathan, Arvind, Rajiv Sarthi, everybody now coming out with the right answer. Not Interpol, Aniket Swami. This is a person. We are talking about a person here. Who is the interviewer? And the answer is Thomas Alva Edison. So these are Edison questions. So when Edison used to interview or uh, take people for his company, he used to set up this particular questionnaire and try to see who could answer all of them to find a job or to land a job with his concern. So this is Thomas Elva Edison. G came later, but Edison is what we are looking for. Since we were asking for the person, this is Thomas Alva Edison. So if you've not yet donated, uh, the link is still there from Tacon. You can go there. And these are our thank you. Thank you for all of you to come and join us on the Saturday evening, Saturday night or Saturday morning from wherever you're joining. One hour, 16 minutes into this uh, session. Here is question number 19. These are ads brought out by a brand which thank the healthcare workers, the cleaning staff. India is forever grateful to you for not having a break right now. Which brand came out with these thank you ads? And Shubranil Acharji and Chandrakala Gerapu say Kit Kat as the answer. Take a break. Take a Kit Kat. Kit Kat is the right answer to that. Ishita, Contrarian 9, all of you, Kalilur, yes, you as well, all of you coming out with the right answer there. Kit Kat, India is forever grateful for not having a break right now. Cleaning staff, the medical workers, the healthcare workers, Kit Kat says thank you through their ads. Kit Kat was the answer. Manoj, Pratik, Pandey, Yes, it, that is the answer that we are looking for. Which brings us to the last of our audio, sorry, our uh, dry and visual questions. The last is the audio piece you will hear. This is the penultimate question of our, is this a penultimate one, uh, Vishnu? Yeah, yeah, this is the penultimate one. Yeah, this is the penultimate one. This is the penultimate one. Again, another one, another brand. Few years back, a brand ran an online campaign where typing any of Google's 500 most misspelled words in their search bar would result in users being told to grab one sample of its bar. Its spelling was also wrongly spelt deliberately. The campaign was to drive home the point that one is not his or her true self when one is suffering from a very basic human need. Which brand advertise does? You see, business is spelled B U I S N E S S. This is actually an ad campaign. Who or which bar actually came out with this? And uh, Amazon is the first answer that I could see here from Anand Venkatraman. I think they are answering the previous one, Kit Kat. But Chubrani Lacharji has uh, come out with an answer. And I don't think there is an incorrect answer to this question yet. So Subranil, Ashish, Contrarian, Ishita, Khalilur, Manasdeep, all of you are right. This is Snickers. The quiz is aimed at raising funds to satisfy hunger of hard daily wage workers. A plate meal is cheaper than a Snickers bar. We urge you, please go to that link. Please go to the YouTube video description and please try to donate for this open-hearted fundraiser quiz that we are doing. So before we go to the last question, the last question of this quiz, a quick look at how much you've gone and raised. We're still at 4663. I hope after this quiz, uh, some of you would go there and help us raise some more funds for this initiative. Uh, your presence itself means a lot to us. And uh, before we go to the last question, Vishnu, I think uh, thanks a lot to you for all the effort that you took to not only beautify the slides, but you ran a campaign uh, much, much better and bigger than what Snickers or uh, uh, Kit Kat did. Uh, you ran to almost all parts of the online quizzing universe and, uh, and tried to garner as many people as possible for this quiz. 38 of you have st stuck around one, one hour, 20 minutes into the quiz. 
uh, to attend this quiz, to look at uh, the questions here, to be with us on the Saturday evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you've joined us from. Vishnu, thanks a lot for inviting me. And uh, I think uh, this is really, really wonderful. I would believe that uh, this is not the last time that I came to you or the first time that I came. Definitely the first and uh, first of many uh, that I would be able to uh, associate you with in such platforms. So thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, everyone, uh, for coming over and joining us. Time now for the last question. Last question of our quiz. The last audio piece that you would hear. Vishnu. Yeah. चला जाता हूँ किसी की धुन में धड़कते दिल के तराने लिए मिलन की मस्ती भरी आँखों में हजारों सपने सुहाने लिए हो चला जाता हूँ किसी की धुन में ना वो दिन वापस आएंगे ना वो खाली सड़कें Nissan Micra, drive simpler, live better. Oh, you give out the answer as well. <laughs> so that was another. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no more, uh, no problems. I think. Uh, well, it takes a lot of effort to make it weekly. Sort of, uh, I believe uh, we could do smaller quizzes uh, weekly. Uh, the questions to chew is uh, some of uh, one of the things that I when I was in the US in two thousand. From 2012 to 2017, I actually tried to stay in touch with quizzing, and that's where uh, I tried to uh, uh, open a Facebook group. It was called Questions to Chew. Prior to that, uh, I had created uh, one of the first uh, blogs for quizzing in uh, India, and I used to be again at that time. Again, I had been to the US. It was called Jaldi Quizzing. Some of you who've been with us uh, from that time onwards would know the. Kind of questions. So questions to chew is uh, almost 2,300-400 uh, uh, plus member group, which is there on Facebook. You can find it if you just when click on questions to chew. Similarly, tack on is another uh, group. We've been uh, coming up with a lot of interesting quizzes. I think a lot of young quiz masters I have seen uh, coming up uh, with their quizzes, and not only in English but in a lot of other regional languages. Uh, Bengali, Tamil, Telugu, uh, Oriya, and I think Malayalam as well. Uh, All the Marathi. South Indian languages. Yeah. And only Gujarati and Odisha, uh, uh, Gujarati and Assamese are left among the major languages. Why not Punjabi? Punjabi also, you probably uh, try yeah, to do like something. <laughs> whoever comes forward, they can do it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. no one comes forward from Gujarat yet. And uh, Odisha, probably next week, someone might do it. I'm not sure. People yeah. were asking. But I think uh, some of your quizzes that you've done, uh, the, the Amphan Relief Quiz, as well as the, the one that you did uh, on Sunday, I think uh, yeah. those were also quite good ones. Uh, please uh, subscribe to Tack On on all the social media. I think he's on Telegram as well now, uh, though I have never been to Telegram myself. But uh, I believe that there are some features in Telegram which allow you to post some good quizzes there. So. Tack on is on a lot of social media handles. Uh, Questions to Chew is on Facebook. Uh, I try to post something on Twitter under my handle, which is Anirudh Dutta, the full name. And uh, then uh, there is a lot of other things uh, that we do. Probably uh, we can, uh, yes, sort of uh, Deepak Taneja sit and can do Punjabi. So Deepak Taneja, if you uh, know he's hosting, I somehow have seen uh, some Bollywood quizzes he hosts. Uh, with uh, Anurag Krishna, another great quizzer from North. Uh, and uh, then there is Saurav, there is uh, Arvind Rajiv Sarthi, as you said, uh, KBC. Uh, I hope uh, one day I'm able to uh, go to the hot seat. And so the, do a lot of other people on this uh, quiz. And uh, yes, uh, tack on uh, Vishnu, you may want to send them the, the Telegram right. link. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll post the link on the comments of this video uh, in some time. And uh, we're coming up with some new form of quiz. Uh, like we'll do the quiz on YouTube, but it's going to be competitive. I'll come up with the details in next few days on my Facebook page, on Tacon's Facebook page and other social media sites and uh, WhatsApp groups. So I hope you all will join that. That's going to be something different. As far as I know, no one tried it uh, till now. So the quiz will be live on YouTube, but uh, it's going to be competitive and there'll be prize money and everything. So Great. just stay tuned to Tacon to know about it. Uh, Right Great. and thank you for the, thank you to everyone for participating in the quiz and this is a fundraiser quiz so we hope you all enjoyed it and uh, uh, after this quiz just, uh, take some time out and uh, go to that fund the donation link which is there on the description page and uh, donate uh, the, probably we've donated uh, the, the contribution so far stands at four thousand six sixty three we tried to go up to 25k uh, let's see if we can do that we've just reached 19 percent of our target but uh, if you can possibly uh, contribute uh, we will be able to uh, donate a little bit more for uh, uh, the daily wage earners uh, here so vishnu thank you good night everyone we have almost 29 people who are still uh, logged in but uh, as and when you feel like going back to this quiz, this quiz will be there on Tiacon's YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, we will also try to post these questions elsewhere as well. But uh, thank you. Thanks once again for joining. And good night. Uh, have a great rest of the day, wherever in the world you are. Thank you, Vishnu. Thank you, everyone.